Hey everyone, John Blavelt here for the Ponte Vedra Recorder at TIAA Bank Field after the Jacksonville Jaguars fell to the Houston Texans 20-7 in another disappointing loss. The big headline here though today for the Jaguars, quarterback Blake Bortles benched for backup Cody Kessler. Bortles finished 6 of 12 for 61 yards. The big problem though for Bortles has been throughout his career, turnovers. The quarterback fumbled the ball twice. Backup quarterback Cody Kessler finished 21 of 30 for 156 yards and a touchdown. Head coach Doug Marone said he benched Bortles to send a message to the rest of the team and to motivate them moving forward. The thought process behind it was, you know, you can take all 11 out, but you don't have enough people to put in. So the thought process was, hey, listen, I'm going to take the quarterback out. All right. Uh, it's not like he played worse than anyone else out there. Um, you know, he did have the two, two fumbles, but at the same time, I just literally did it to try to get a damn spark from this football team to put everyone on notice, okay, to that they have to focus and they have to go out there and play better. When asked who would be the starting quarterback for the Jaguars moving forward, Marone said the quarterback position is open, as are many other positions on the team. It's open. Who's the starter at right tackle? Who's the starter at uh, center? Who's the starter at receiver? Who's the starter, you know, everything's open. We lost three straight games, and we can't, we can't uh, stop shooting ourselves in the foot, for lack of a better expression. Overall, though, Marone said for this team to win moving forward, the key will be to limit turnovers, which over the past three weeks has been a problem for the Jaguars. At the end of the day, we can say all we want. We can, you know, I can get up here and I can give everyone a million things, a mil all this stuff, positive and negative, but if you're minus three, and you know, you're minus two, minus three, game in and game out, okay, you are not going to win no matter what positive thing you try to find. That's just, that's just the way it is. It's been that way from the beginning. On the defensive side of the ball, starting linebacker Telvin Smith did acknowledge that this team is facing some adversity right now, but he did say that this team will turn it around. We're figuring out who we are. Um, and when I say we're figuring out who we are, we just got to get our help, get, get our pieces back, get healthy again. Uh, but I promise you this, you're going to see this team come back and bounce back. Uh, I'm not going to see a Tim Tebow speech from back in the day, <laughs> but I promise you this, you're going to see this team come back and bounce back and, and, and do what we do. Once again, the Jacksonville Jaguars lose to the Houston Texans 20-7 to here at TIAA Bank Field. They fall to 3-4 and four on the season and will head to London next week to take on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. For the Ponte Vedra Recorder, I'm John Blavelt.